Welcome. My name is Andy Serkis, and I am lucky enough to have been the director on Venom, Let There Be Carnage. And I am so excited after all this time, after what seems like an endless period of time, to finally bring you the world first trailer of this amazing movie starring Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams, and Woody Harrelson and Naomi Harris. So welcome to the trailer, which we're going to break down and share a few stories about it. Here we go. I mean, imagine living in this flat. You've got You've got crazy Eddie Brock, and you've got crazy Venom, and they are now, what is in effect in the odd couple stage of their relationship? This, this is now, they've been together for, I don't know, imagine a year and a half, say, um, since the last story, and it's they're figuring out how to be with each other. What And it's like living with this maniac uh, toddler. Um, Eddie, Eddie's really struggling, he can't concentrate, he's trying to get on with work, and he's, of course, only thinks about himself anyway. Excuse me. Yummy. Good evening, Eddie. Hey, Mrs. Chen. Good evening, Venom. Function Hall, Mrs. Chen. Uh, little Easter egg as he passes, I'm not going to give too much away, actually, but there's a little Easter egg in this scene. And Venom just points to him there, and on you go. And Mrs. Chen runs the convenience store, and that's where they go for their chocolate supplies and so on. Now, okay, Woody Harrelson. Cletus Cassidy in this story, of course, we, we've left the, the last movie, and, the, and the, the, egg on, the Easter egg on the end was, was the introduction of Cletus Cassidy. But it seems that from, from the way that we lead into this story, that they have formed some sort of relationship, and he's the only person that uh, Cassidy will talk to. And it's because there's something in, in, in their personalities, in both their personalities, which, um, you know, in fact, there's a similarity. They both had strange upbringings with strange relationships with their, with their parents and their, and their families. And there's an, a, a sort of a lo an inherent loneliness that they both recognize in each other. Cletus actually reaches out and will only speak to Eddie Brock. Uh, that's the, 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 at the beginning of the story, we learn that he's the only one he'll speak to. And the cops want, therefore, want uh, Eddie to go in and investigate and try and discover where some of the bodies, some of the many bodies that uh, of, of, of Cletus's victims are. Every decision we ever make. Obviously, there are links between Venom and Spider Spider Man in the Marvel Universe and the Spider Man story. But in this, the, you know, we're treating this very much as it hits his own world. The Venom story is his own world. There are nods and and little moments that, that you just like this newspaper, the Daily Bugle, of course. Um, but on the on the whole, he kind of it, he's unaware. They are un unaware at this point um, of 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 other. Uh, characters like Spider-Man. Um, so that's 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 the way we've chosen to play this particular episode of the of the of the movie. But well, we'll wait and see. We'll see what 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 little uh, things you can pick out of it. This character here, though, is um, his name is Mulligan, and played by the incredible Stevie Graham, who you will have seen in loads of movies recently. Really talented. Uh, British actor. He plays Mulligan, who is the cop who's really trying to investigate uh, Cletus Cassidy and uh, is is waiting for news, wait, you know, constantly waiting for news um, from Eddie as he goes in and, and interrogates him. Who do we leave behind and how do we leave them? This lovely little abode is, uh, of course, well known to fans. I'm not going to say too much about it, but of course it houses some of the world's greatest supervillains and it's a secret place not even detective mulligan and, and sfpd know about we get another slightly different entry point into this strange place um which of course links up to other marvel universe characters particularly spider-man stories of course um but again without giving too much away here we have the incredible Naomi harris as francis barrison aka shriek 
and she is very as we know from from those who know the comics well know that she had a very difficult childhood too Un, not unlike many of the other characters in this movie it's very much a running theme family parents how things have gone wrong how people may know if they're fans of the venom comics how damaged she has been and uh been bullied and and uh, manipulated by parents and has you know went through a tr very traumatic upbringing and forms a very strong lifelong relationship with her uh, childhood sweetheart who i'm not going to give away who that is right now in the darkness of the rescuer who never comes welcome back eddie brock it's been a long time. Miss you so much. And this is our introduction to 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 Cletus. Now, you'll notice that Cletus has it looks very different to the um, coda in the last movie, and we wanted to give a sense that that he is you know he's been in there for some time and that he's gone through various changes we wanted to strip away all of that so that we could really see what's going on with the darkness of the character the end of cletus as we see it and you know he finally is about to depart this world or so we think Soon come chaos. But no, because guess what? This is called Let There Be Carnage, let's face it. So is he really going to disappear? I don't think so. And here we are. You get to see a little bit, a little bit, just a snippet of the transformation of Cletus Cassidy into Carnage. The scene which precedes this is, is obviously it's his, you know, an execution scene. And so what, what's so great about this movie is that you can go from the, the real life, you know, and it feels very real when you're shooting that whole scene. It felt very, um, you know, this is real. It's, it's a completely a replica of, um, of the San Quentin um, death by lethal injection chamber. And, it, and it's sort of, it's, it's got a really weird, dark, horrible kind of mood to it. So, and then it goes into this, which is, which is what's so amazing about these stories is that you can go from a, from from a sense of reality and a, a, a re, you know it's all based in reality and then you can then you can shift into an extraordinary character like this you know the literally the birthing of carnage here we see a little moment of um, of the potential capabilities of Francis Barrison's superpowers and and what she can what you know this is just a slight indication of of the of the damage and the havoc she can wreak as Shriek. So a little indication of of carnage at play with what he can do. I mean, this character was so much fun to work on in design and to and to you know take from the comic and and take from the comics world comic world. And to, you know, we looked at so many, I mean, it was just, it was wonderful having the opportunity to take this character that's never been seen before on screen, um, you know, re or, re you know, to, to, into the, in, 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 as much as you do get to know him in, in our, in our story. Um, and, and to really play with the physicality, how he moves, how he, um, how he extrudes his uh, tentacles, how, you know, what, because there's a difference between, I mean, as a, as a symbiote, there are differences between, say, Venom and Carnage, for those who know, of, of they're, they're obvious, you know, he can actually change in a, molecularly, he can actually change himself. So he can go from being, um, he can turn to mist, he can turn to uh, all manner of tendrils he can take different forms he can weaponize he can do all of these different things chaos soon come for the final reveal for this moment that you see in the trailer the first time you fully see um you fully see carnage we we just wanted again to not give too much away but just to give a, a little snapshot of the energy of the crazy energy the weapons the tendrils the you know just a little moment for for everybody to, to get their first te teased kind of look at, at, at what it's going to be like is the loneliest 
The chocolate delivery hasn't arrived yet. No! We had a deal. What's gonna happen? You gonna stop protecting me? I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen! No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? The, the, the fact of the matter is that there's a normality and an everydayness to carrying a symbiote around inside you. And one of those things is you have to make sure your symbiote's fed, quite frankly. And um, Mrs. Chen, who's a character we, we come back to and we, we the, the convenience store that we've established in the first movie, it's, it's a real touchstone place. And, you know, there, there are a number of scenes that happen there. It's sort of, it's like a, it's like plugging back into, into normal world for a second. And, uh, and yet, um, you know, you can you can just see you can see from 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 Eddie's expressions throughout this that he's, you know, he's now and of course that Mrs. Chen knows know knows about Venom, so she's not freaked out by it until until Eddie's Eddie's sort of uh, mildly uh, threatens her with um, you know what might happen if she doesn't keep the secret. Nothing. And then finally, this uh, this is one of the, one of the moments for the movie. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I don't want to give too much away. But it's it's a nice way of showing you um, a little bit more of Carnage and and the fact that he's coming right at you and uh, and that he is you know again going back to the, what I was talking about earlier with how he weaponizes how he. Uh, is able, you know, the tendrils, how they work, how his physicality works. Um, but just the very, you know, almost here we leave him in this semi-godlike um, shot, very, very uh, Leonardo da Vinci uh, sort of um, iconic shot of, um, of carnage that we want to leave you all with. So that's the trailer, the first trailer. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, it's it's been a long time coming and you've been so so patient we're all dying to see it in the cinema on the big screen you know for, we, for a lot of the, a lot of a lot of this time of course during covid we've been working away on small laptops and computers and all separated the whole team's been across the world you know it's been a global effort to bring this movie together so we are thrilled when you finally do get to see it when you you know when you see it in the cinemas um, uh, there's a lot of love and a, a lot of excitement and uh, we hope you, we really seriously hope that you enjoy it.